Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting edition with an addition, my lovely bride riding shotgun, two in the shoot or stump the chump. Kaylin, what have you got for us today? This is going to be impossible. Is this one for mom? This is for both of you. This is going to be, now that I realize this, I don't know why I did this because it's going to be impossible keeping the two of you under 15 minutes, but here we go. Uh, how is it teaching your spouse how to ride a horse, work cattle, anything like that? I think, <laughs> okay, there you go. That's your answer right there. <laughs> go for it. This is the face of trauma. I think it's just <laughs> emotional trauma. Oh yeah. God, I've done something wrong. Oh no, I'll never let this one down because they remember stuff forever, except what you're trying to teach them. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Kaylin, really? Not true. That's not true. So lesson number one, never try to teach your spouse something. Let someone else teach them. Yeah, because we'll, actually it didn't go that bad. It's not bad. What spurred this whole conversation was I was re-watching some of the episodes and one of them was you and me talking about how you getting into like a ranching family and stuff like that. And right. the reason why I was looking at it was because I think it's so popular because it has you in it. Everybody loves mom. So everybody loves they, mom. Birds. They the conversation though. Small was like, rodents. They all love her like Cinderella. Snow White. And Snow White. <laughs> I yeah. feed them. But the conversation was the dad trying to teach you how to ride a horse. And that's why. I was oh like, my gosh. He was. It was very nice of him to say, I will show you how to ride a horse properly, you know, and be safe, which mm -hmm. is important, right? And now I'm on the horse and I'm doing what he says. But like I said before, shoulders back, toes forward. Can you see your toes? You shouldn't put all your weight in your butt in the saddle. You should have 50 50 in each leg and hands down. And don't put your hands up there. Put your hands down. I was like, holy cow can you stop already See, that's not the way i remember it here's what i remember <laughs> oh, oh please tell us how do you remember it honey oh, you're beautiful you idea. look real that horse now looks better with you on it nice job he probably had your some hands, that bs in there too but no, no are a little high but put them down a little bit they look great there and for now as a beginner put about half your weight on your feet and the other half on your butt you can hardly see your butt it's so small on that saddle but just try to put it there yeah. and nice and poised. Put your shoulders back like you always do. It looks okay. We are very, not the BS factor. <laughs> it looks very model like of you, oh. which I know is natural. I but... like things polished, and this is not polished today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, that's what you get with yeah. your parents. Sorry. Um, so. In the end, I did learn how to ride a horse. I, I think, okay, I can ride a horse. Um, but it was a little bit uh, of a learning curve because I stopped dad in the middle of the lesson and I just glared at him and he's like, oh, I've done something terribly wrong. You could tell by the look. What did I say? What did <laughs> I say? And I said, too many things. You have got to go simple, one at a time. You know, there, here's the overview, but you gotta you gotta focus one at a time and and perfect one area a little bit, and then increase the skill level because there's a lot of stuff going on. And when you ride a horse all your life, it's like no big deal. It was a big deal for me, and you are really far off the ground, and I don't bounce well. So, but when you're five foot, like that's what happens. <laughs> that is liar, the american five, female three. average she's actually way. five two and a half but five she three and a half and he keeps shortening it and that does not help my bmi i am telling you <laughs> okay you're six foot i like that okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay that's that's like teaching you how to ride a horse and whatnot but how about how about no, like working with cattle add, and, okay go ahead okay but i want to add with the horse thing keep in mind i did not learn how to ride a 15, 20 year old horse. I was oh, on yeah. three year old Colts is what I rode that dad had just finished training. And granted, he's going to give me the ones that he felt were safe for me, but they are a lot more energized and up and you have to oh, be really? a little more cautious <laughs> about, yeah, really. Uh, you have to be a little more cautious <laughs> about, you know, 
what you're doing. So uh, that just kind of enhanced the experience for me. Enhanced it. I wasn't going to put you on something that was going to hurt you. Well, no, I know that. I'm just saying that that made me probably more nervous too. Well, and then they feed off that. And then they feed off of that. Right. Right. And then you did great. And then when they can't do what I'm thinking, that is a problem. It's like, you should have gone right. We did not go right. Why? (laughs) I don't do what she's thinking. Age old problem. It's, it's uh-huh. <laughs> okay. How about uh, working cattle? That that's always a age old joke when uh, in ranching families uh, don't work cattle with your spouse and and stuff like that. So, what, what do and you um, nothing you say on the day you work cattle should be held against you. It, that's probably because, a very good yeah. But it still does, especially some days. But I think it's gotten better. And what does your T-shirt say? Um, you have a t-shirt I got you for Christmas. Uh, what is it? It says, I love you, but not on days we work cattle. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, oh, yeah. here's another thing too, though. Like for a long time, we had a whole lot more horses than we did cows. So right. what was worse <laughs> working together to move cows around in the chutes and in pens and stuff, a hundred head or 50 head of rambunctious horses. Cattle yeah, horse. Yeah. You really think the cattle? Mm-hmm. Because with horses, you can. Way. You can direct them. You can control it. There's but, more control. But the problem yeah. with horses is, you know, like dad would worm and sometimes he'd worm them out in the field and they're all gathering around and you got to be careful safety wise because they're just trying to get in there. But um, yeah, I think the cows are worse. Well, because you can't, you can control the horses. You can really slow that down and you can to the, with the cows to, a, to point. a point. But when you're sorting cattle out of a pen, one moves the others want to move and you're trying to do just that you're trying to sort so it's yeah you know you're trying to read an ear tag for uh a brand and you know try to manage everything in the dynamic moving time you just don't stop it you can but then it takes forever then you to get, get run over right well yeah so and then the learning curve for for someone who's not used to working cattle they're trying to learn in real time Right. Yeah. And you're trying to tell him what to do. So when he's trying to tell you what to do in real time, it doesn't always come across as a friendly suggestion. Hey, would you please and step over and move the cow this way? It's, hey, stop it. Are you standing there? Get out of the way. You're in the gate. And it's like, I thought I was helping, <laughs> but I guess not. So not quite that. Bad. Remember, remember, remember a certain couple where you're yes. standing at the gate. <laughs> And it wasn't you two. <clears throat> I'm sure that one one half will comment on this video at one point. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the cattle thing, you know, I, I had to learn on the fly. And um, it was very frustrating early on when we would move, you know, a, a good number of cattle around. Now I think it's a whole lot easier. It's a lot better because I anticipate yeah. and understand their movements better. And But still inevitably dad has a plan he tells me the plan before we start and then Braden and i will look at each other and like what what did, what is he doing because well, Braden he James knows he is Braden also isn't the, the easiest to not to have a conversation well, with either <laughs> and he's he's not always very forthcoming with questions but dad will get done saying this is what we're going to do and he thinks it's crystal clear because he knows the plan and i'll look at him and go, now where are these going or, or who is going where? Well, I just told you. Yeah. Tell me again. So, but it, it's getting way better. And so I don't maybe think the, experience. I don't, I don't think helps. I snap at her like that either. Cause that's, that's exaggerated because I'm not stupid. I'm not going to have to look in my soup for the next two weeks, wondering if I've been poisoned or not. You know, the, the worst time I think I've ever hmm. seen you two snap at each other was, and it was probably the, the first and the last time I've ever seen it was, the stupid hose to trickle water into the 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 uh, tree line to the to the west of the house. I don't remember that. Do you? Oh God, I do. That was oh, that was that was that was a tense moment because Braden and I were in high school and we're like, I don't even remember that. It sounds to me like you're just ultra sensitive. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. So anyway, with back to the cows. Um, you know, I talk about basic things like you got a pen that you have to get them out into a corner through a corner gate which way you know 
which way do you move? Do you move them clockwise or counterclockwise? So they come down a, a fence, wall or a fence and, line, and then yeah. out the gate or straight out. You don't just take them this way and then they have to do a 90. Yeah. That doesn't work very well. Right. So try to have these little safety briefings, especially okay. when there's lots of people around, you know, yeah. like branding or something. And more people's not better when you're working no. cattle. No. And, and that's the that. thing is people want to help, which is awesome. But uh, really, you got to minimize how many people are actually in with yeah. the cattle. Well, they feel like they're not doing, they're not helping right. if they're not doing anything. And actually, sometimes they're in the they're, way. Yeah. You know? And so, yeah, we're just trying to figure that out. But it, it's better. But yeah, there's inevitably because, okay, when we move cows from summer pasture to winter pasture, you know, I'm in the lead with the bucket shaking it going, come on, girls, come on. And if I don't have any way of communicating with dad, which most of the time we forget our stupid radios, um, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, well, should I go or should I wait? Or, you know, do I have them strung out too far? And that gets frustrating too. Especially when you're going to cross like the highway. Yeah, because the highway always stresses me out. Because it's good to cross that and you may have traffic. You got, yeah. like we have, you know, Bull had never been across a highway before. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if he was going to get him across there for a minute. But... He, he went over the fence. And so oh, he wasn't, oh. that was last yeah. weekend. He went into a neighbor's fence and then he's running up and down one side of it because he wants to get back to the cows and he couldn't find a hole. And then dad and Braden went back and they got him out through a gate. Through a gate. Yeah. And then he's like, Am I going across or not? Well, it gets started onto the pavement, the asphalt, different texture, mm -hmm. different footing. And he's looking down and then he's looking at a filled crack that's got tar in it from, oh, no. you know, and he's sniffing that like that doesn't look normal. This <laughs> isn't know? good. So, and, I had, that, oh, and I had the cows just down the road and I was trying not to let them go anywhere, About you a, know, because quarter third of a mile I yeah suppose. hoping he'd say oh I want to go with those guys and it worked out but still I'm like oh my gosh yeah well, it sounds like, well, sounds like communication is better, is so, <laughs> see she doesn't need do you hear she this need. she's getting better yes you are you don't have it's all me it is all you it's all me getting better she doesn't need to ask me what to do she knows what to do. She can no, read it. She can read a cow. I still need to ask dad just for his purposes. He wants to make sure I do it the way he wants it done. Well, yeah. That's, I mean, yeah. All right. Before anyway. this goes any further down a rabbit hole, <laughs> we will put that one out to pasture.